Well, most nights I wake up around 1 o'clock, have to go pee, of course, and then I'm up for like an hour or so, and then I fall back asleep. Used to be concerned about this, but then I Googled it and found out that throughout time humans have been around, they often had this two-sleep type cycle. You know, it was only till the industrial age when we started sleeping like this eight hours. So people would go to sleep because it got dark, and then they'd wake up in the middle of the night, take care of business, and then go back to sleep. So I don't feel so bad. So if you're up at one in the morning, get some paperwork done, business done. And I thought, well, hey, like a lot of people look at races. And of course, the great virtual race across Tennessee starts May 1st. Last year, I ended up going to the hospital for the first time with my heart failure diagnosis. And then I got out of the hospital uh, April 27th and started doing this race. Ended up doing the uh, 10 mile a day version. So a race across Tennessee and back across Tennessee. Wasn't going to do it this year, but I think I might do it just to keep me honest, keep me motivated. You know, I'm pretty motivated anyways, but definitely today I had a good day. Uh, backed off on the beta blockers. And so if you want to get something really funny, though, you got to check out Laz's Frequently Asked Questions. It's actually called Frequently Desired Answers, Lazarus Lake, and him talking about, you know, how long the race is. No, it's not exactly a thousand kilometers because the state's not that long. Uh, and also, you know, what counts as miles and what counts as a day. And I'll have to read this sometime because it's pretty dang funny. And then, of course, uh, live tracking. I checked on my buddy Ed, who's out there doing a 100-mile uh, race, 100-mile number um, 198. He's picking me up tomorrow at about this time, and I'm going to drive him to Vegas, and he's going to do uh, 100, 199 starting on Friday, and then 100, two, his 200, 100 on uh, Sunday, Saturday, and hopefully finish on Sunday. So, yeah, it says he's here at 50 miles Looked like he slowed down a little bit. So the first loop, 1340 pace, 1230 pace. There's two 10 mile loops out there. One of them obviously is a little harder than he did the next lap. 1432 pace, 1252 pace, and then definitely slowed down quite a bit. Uh, so he was at, uh, race started at noon. So he got 50 miles in 12 hours, 20 minutes. So it looks like he'll be over 24 unless he picks it up. So we shall see how that works. <clears throat> and uh, speaking of training peaks, my form is looking good because I took an easy week last week. Fitness is good. Too bad I don't have a race for a little while. Almost won a race at Jackpot, but I think I'll definitely hold off on doing it. Looking forward to seeing Yolanda there doing the uh, 100 U.S. track and field one. And I just got confirmation from Camille Heron. She's definitely going to be there running the uh, USA track and field 100 miler, taking on Marissa who she uh, raced at the 48 and had an injury and then Marissa won it, so that should be cool. And, of course, Zach Bitter's going to be there, Patrick Reagan and Jake Jackson, so it should be a good race. Looking forward to covering it. Um, my day yesterday, um, had a decent 80-minute walk in the morning. Got under 18 for the first time in a while. Uh, that was nice. Um, and then uh, went out in the afternoon, went a little bit faster. <clears throat> and, of course, did my kettlebell drills, which I always enjoy doing that. I'm um, looking at my Fitbit. Resting heart rate still not down in the low 50s like it usually is. You can tell my two workouts yesterday. Get a little bit better into the extra zone. zone. Um, then uh, if you click here, at the sleep. Did I went to bed at 9, woke up at 1. Um, but... Thankfully, I have been sleeping pretty good. Finally, after my COVID insomnia, took that Pfizer shot for a couple weeks. My sleep was jacked up big time. So looking forward to falling back asleep here in a little bit. Uh, exercise, you know, walking, walking, walking. But you can tell this afternoon, got a good walk. Was in the fat burning zone quite a bit, and that was good to go. And then drinking the water, trying to get 96 ounces. Got 72, so I'm getting a little bit better. It was a nice cool day though, so it was that's how it is. So that's about it for uh, my training day. I'm looking forward to going back to sleep and then getting up and doing uh, some repeats. I think I'm gonna do eight times 10 minutes this morning whenever I finally head out the door. So as always, stay healthy, be boring.